Question 2. Anne works in a sandwich shop. The dual bar graph chart shows information about the sandwiches sold. So if we look at the key, it says that the white boxes represent white bread and the grey boxes represent brown bread. Part A. Write down the total number of cheese sandwiches sold. So if we look at cheese, we can see we have two bars, the white bread and the brown bread. So for white bread, we read off where the top of the bar is, and that says it's 6 according to the frequency. So just to remind myself of that, I'm going to write it above the bar. So I have 6 sandwiches. The brown bar is exactly the same height, so that's also going to be 6. The total number of cheese sandwiches then must be both of those numbers added together. 6 add 6 is 12. More white bread sandwiches were sold than brown bread sandwiches. Part B asks, work out how many more white bread sandwiches. So to find out how many more white bread sandwiches than brown bread sandwiches there are, we need to know how many there are of each. So I'm going to continue on by labelling each of the bars of my graph to find out how many of each colour was sold. Starting with ham, we can see that the white bread bar is somewhere between 10 and 12, meaning that must be 11 sandwiches. For the brown bread, that would be 10. For egg, same idea, between 10 and 12 means there were 11 sandwiches sold. And the brown bar lies between 2 and 4, which means 3 sandwiches were told. Sold. Oops. Now there's two ways to actually approach this question. We want to know how many more white bread sandwiches there were. So we could look at the difference in each of these bars and add the differences together. For example, there's one extra ham sandwich and there are eight extra egg sandwiches, which means nine sandwiches difference. That's a perfectly acceptable method and as long as you show you're working out, you will get full marks. The other method is just to work out how many of each sandwich were sold and find the difference. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll start off with white. So we have 11, add 11, add 6. So 11 add 11 is 22, add 6 means there are 28 white sandwiches sold. For the brown bread sandwiches, we have 10, add 3, add 6. Putting those together means there were 19 brown bread sandwiches sold. So the difference between these two, you just take one away from the other. 28 take away 19 is going to leave you with 9. So both methods will give you exactly the same answer and as long as you show you're working out, you'll get full marks. If you forget to work out what the difference is, you will lose your answer marks. Be very careful that you've read the question and answered what it was looking for.